cooperation, yeah. which slowed you down a little bit and thought, I'm going to take a year off. Yeah. How is when you are normally training, it's seven days a week, it's very consuming. How has this year been different for you than it's when been, you're in training? Yeah, it's been a huge difference to me, you know, leading into London and, and the few years before that. I did have injuries and if not worse injuries, but I had that goal of London to get to and it was full on. It was seven days a week and, and you know, there was times that I wish I could go do something else or see friends, but at the same time I, I wanted to train and I loved it and I wanted to get to London. But after London, Coming back, uh, I wanted to have that break. I wanted to do things and go out and have a few drinks and see my mm. friends. And I did that for a few months and then realised that I do miss being really fit and I want to get right. back to world champs. And that's when I came back. But after coming back, I hurt my ankle and, and needed an operation. Mm -hmm. And um, I knew that I, I wanted to go to world champs, but in the back of my mind, I knew that, again, it was going to be a fine line for me to try and get there. And this time, it was just I just felt different about it and I felt that, you know, I, I did qualify. I went overseas for three days to qualify and a lot of people around you want you to do that, but I started to do it for everyone else, I think. Right, yeah. I started to train and, and try and make it to Worlds because of everybody wanted me to, not because I wanted to. And I still love my sport, and, but there was times where I had just dreaded going to training and yeah. I didn't want to be that person and I didn't want to get upset and I started to feel depressed about the thought of going to training by myself because my training group actually went separate ways after London. Right, and okay. It was in the middle of winter and it was my, just my coach and I trying to get to world champs where I already knew my times and my jumps were nowhere near where they needed to be because I'd have had such a, a long time off and, and my ankle was actually a minor surgery but it was also my only ankle so I had to really be quite, quite yeah. reserved on it. But, you know, coming back and, and, you know, it was only a couple of weeks out, I just said to my coach, I don't think I can go. And I was already dealing with other injuries and some of the doctors didn't really want me to go. Uh, but I sat down with him and I said, look, I, I don't want to be the person that ends up hating my sport because I love yeah. it and I want to make it to Rio. And I said, I don't think I can go to world champs. And, you know, they, they are so great. They, they put me in touch with a psychologist again. And as soon as I walked in there, I sat down and I broke down and, mm. you know, she said, look, I don't think I'm going to pull you out of, of world champs. It's not the end, end of everything. And, you know, you can't go away on a team where you're not happy and you make other yeah. people not happy. It's not just about you. And, it wasn't, and I think it was one of the best best decisions that I made. And was it confronting at the time, though, when so much of your life had been focused on these goals, training, to then yeah. go, I'm going to take a break? Yeah. It's, what did, how was, did you feel your time? Uh, yeah, no, yeah it, was, it was tough even making that decision, and I honestly thought, and I was so scared to ring my mum and tell my mum I'm not going to World Champs, and I think I'm going to take the rest of the year off. Because I thought everyone just thought it was Kelly and was the runner, that was it. Kelly yeah. was only the runner. And it is because you go somewhere and you do talks and you meet people and all they want to talk about is your sport. And you know, but I am a person outside yeah. of my sport. But at the end of the day, I just felt like I couldn't not go because not because of myself, because I didn't want to let anyone down. Yeah. And I wanted people to support me after this year, even if I gave up. And I now realise that was stupid. Like my coach, he's he's so great. You know, he's I'm coming back to him in January and he sort of took a step back and let me have my life and uh, I did it and it was one of the best things I've done and I've just had a life this year and I've got to go around and do things like this and, yeah. and it's been actually really busy and I've kept my mind really occupied doing other things and it's been so good travelling and, and yeah. having new sponsors and meeting new people and being normal. Because it, it is, it's a very different life than a lot of your friends would have lived. For them uh, to yeah. go out and go, we're going out tonight and you're like, I'm it going is, home. Yeah. It, it's so weird and it took me a while to not feel guilty and I, even living with my housemate, uh, if I didn't get up at six o'clock in the morning, I'd sort of justify it to her in the morning. I didn't get up and I'm like, I don't have to get up. Tonight. Yeah. You know, oh, so what a that. luxury. But it took me a while to get that out of my head because I'm, uh, you know, this is the time to enjoy that. And it is different for me to be in like, Cal, can you come to this party tonight? And I'm usually like, no, I'm like, actually, yeah, I can. I can stay there as long as I want to. So it, um, it's been So good. have you had a year of where you can drink, you can eat what you yeah. want, do whatever you want? <laughs> definitely, definitely have and uh, put on a few kilos and dreading the training when I come back. But It's going to be a shock when you go it back. Is. Uh, you know, I've been in the gym now five, six times a week in boxing, so... I've kept somewhat fit, but I'm not running fit, and I'm um, hopefully I even fit my running leg. <laughs> yeah, like, that's my main worry. Does it? What, do you get nervous that when you start training again, your heart mightn't be in it? No, I think it is, and I think because I took the year off, like I was stuck for the last couple of months, going, "Do I want to come back?" And mm. I think I have not. An I haven't had an epiphany, but I've realised that I can fit sport into my life next year, and the year after, and the year after that. You know. I don't have to be 
that person that just solely is focused yeah, on sport. Right. I want to go to Rio and I want to be happy and I think that I know how to be happy now and have a balanced lifestyle. I didn't, don't think I did before and people tell you to and I didn't. I just had one view and that was to run. And uh, I think now that I go back and my coach and I are having a meeting on the weekend actually and we're, we're bringing five things to the table.